just an area of my car. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty rad. It sounds a little bit like Jurassic Park, you know? Yeah. In the jungle, mate. This is, you know, if, if nothing's gonna make you run faster than here in that thing. Come on, mate, you got this. <laughs> An amazing, amazing workout. Such a friendly place. Everyone here is, you know, everyone's in the it's same situation. Family. He's had surgery on his spine and he's doing front squats at that weight. Good morning guys, 22nd of October 2019. It's quarter to seven in the morning. We're about to do the Big Buddha Run here in uh, Phuket, Thailand as part of Tiger Muay Thai, uh, their beach, uh, Tiger Muay Thai beach sides package. I woke up 15 minutes ago. Uh, I'm at Hivetel right now. It's our accommodation we're staying at. We're about to jump in a van downstairs in 15 minutes from now, get taken to the base of the Big Buddha, run to the top, get picked up from the top and then come back here. So today is going to be another full day of adventures. So stick around for this full day in the life vlog that I'm shooting here at Tiger Muay Thai Beachside. That's where we're staying. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bring you along on the run and show you what the run is all about. And yeah, it's five kilometers uphill to the Big Buddha for amazing views. I did this run two years ago. Uh, I can't wait to do it again. So see you soon. I did this two years ago, it was not like this. How are you feeling? Getting ready. Getting ready? All right, 10 minutes the way through. It is so steep. I think I read that it's an eight degree incline. Look at this, look at this. It just brings you to a screaming halt. However, it's uh, quite an amazing run because you get to run past Elephants. Here they are. Here's the crowd. It's quite a scenic run. Just past 10, 10 past 8 in the morning, and uh, it's very, very hot. It's very humid here in Thailand. Be prepared for the humidity. Sometimes it's very hard to yeah, get used to it. But Think of it like this. Look at those views right there. You're running up this hill, mountain or whatever you want to call it, with everybody with the same mentality that you have. We all have the one thing in common, which is fitness. We all want to be stronger and fitter and healthier. And so it's great. It's a great environment. As much as I'm very competitive, I want to, I want to steam it. I can't because of my calf. I tore it last week and I'm even surprised that I'm doing this. So I'd be very happy if I just finished this, to be honest. But uh, this is what you'll pass on the way up. Like, look at this, little cafes, elephants, and then you get more and more views as we climb to the top. How are you feeling, mate? Feeling great. Yeah. Let's get it. Where are you from? Oh, yeah. oh me too, man. Brad, Melbourne. Sure, Melbourne. There he is. Not for long. Representing Melbourne here. That's it. These elephants, guys, check this out. When you're doing this run, you'll get to see this. These elephants here on the side of the road. Just an area of my car. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty rad. It sounds a little bit like Jurassic Park, you know? Yeah. In the jungle, mate. This is, 
you know, if, if nothing's going to make you run faster than hearing that thing, then nothing will. Glad to have you guys on the journey. Definitely got to do this. No matter what level of fitness you're at, you sign up the day before. Uh, if you've got the all-inclusive fitness package at Tiger Muay Thai, uh, you get to do this for an extra 50 baht. $2.50 Australian. It's well worth it. And, uh, and I got a, I, I uh, pulled my calf last week, so uh, I take it easy, you know. But I'm happy that I'm in the environment and I can share the experience. So thanks for joining me. I'm Jack. Here's Jack from the States. <laughs> what up? He's been here for four weeks. Is that right? Yeah, going into my fourth week. Going into your fourth week? Yeah. How you feel, man, about the whole trip? It's like dying right now. <laughs> I mean, it's been amazing. <laughs> Truthfully, man, God. it probably kicks your ass for sure. First time in Thailand, right? First yeah, time first here. time in Thailand. Uh, came because I've always loved martial arts, and I wanted something to challenge me and kick my ass. I definitely got that. <laughs> oh. And you recommend make your mates from home to come here, train? You recommend your family for, coming out here? For sure. Yeah. Uh, no, it's crazy of how much, even if you're not into martial arts, you know, it's amazing of how much, uh, you know, you just get a workout just being here and so this walking is it, around. So this is like a fitness vacation for you, yeah? You, you, so yeah. I just finished up uh, school and uh, doing a little bit of a gap here before going back for more this school. This is perfect, man. This is absolutely perfect. In yeah. fact, you might get so sucked into this, you might not even get home. It happens to people, man. They miss their flights, they don't go home. They become trainers out here. I know. You know? It's crazy. It's definitely really enjoying it. I can see myself coming back. Which state? Which state? Because I know a couple of guys are going to be like, where's his accent from? I'm trying to. <laughs> from uh, Virginia, the United States. Virginia. Yeah. There we go, guys. Stick around, more to come. Boom, boom. All right, my friends, it is half past eight in the morning. We're on the home stretch here for the Big Buddha run. You can see the head of the Buddha, which is always promising. It's getting bigger and bigger. Which means we're getting closer and closer. Come on, mate, you got this. Hey <laughs> right, guys, we're almost at the finish line. Look at this. That's it there. There's the finish line. Oh. How do you feel? So you just crossed the finish line. What was your time, Brady? Uh, 37 minutes, 17 seconds, 4.13 kilometers, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a like a 9% incline, and I'm happy that my calf didn't, uh, no, I'm so impressed, how are you feel? So good, I'm refresh. what time did you do? I don't know time, but I came 12, this dude came third, man, 12, third, yeah, <laughs> well done mate, Thanks. third place, feels good, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna put your name on the plaque, yeah, 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 Pascal Mueller, from Switzerland. Now we met yesterday, right? At Ali's Barbecue. Exactly. No, not Ali's Barbecue. Uh, Tony's, 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 Tony's restaurant. Tony's restaurant. Tony's restaurant. Tony's restaurant. <laughs> Best place. Yes, go there and check it out on the training street. Mate, how do you feel? We just finished the Big Buddha run. Um, feel pretty good. It was hard, but amazing. Everybody that's coming here, you gotta do it. It's awesome. Especially this guy got 28. <laughs> No, we're getting a bus down, I think. We're getting a bus down. <laughs> you just have to run up, you're, you're not running back down, so it's all good. <laughs> and your first time doing the Big Buddha run? 32 minutes, now I got it in 28. And how long are you here on the training street for? One month. And how long have you been here for so far? Three weeks. And how do you feel? Awesome. Do you recommend your mates come here? I can recommend it to everybody. It's freaking awesome. It's a good experience. You gotta come, guys. Love you, brother. Thanks Love you too, man. All right, guys, this is the end of the Big Buddha run here. Everyone's uh, finished. And here we are, we're about to jump back on the buses and uh, head back. Check this out. Look how many people there are. There are so many people here. Getting into a little crowd. There's a big bull up there. Now, don't think we'll actually get a chance to go up there this year. Uh, two years ago, I was up there. The views from there are really amazing. I highly recommend if you come to the big Buddha, go right to the obviously go right to the top. Um, it takes really amazing photos of Shalong Bay. Two years ago, when I did the big Buddha run. Uh, we obviously, uh, we, we did go all the way to the top and took photos and video and then came back down but I think there's just too many people and I think we're just going to go, this is as far as we're going to go, right here. But yeah, 
take my word for it, it's definitely worth going the extra 50 meters. Good morning vlog. Uh, yeah, so day two of our adventures here at Tiger Muay Thai Beachside. Brought it to 10 in the morning, Tuesday, 22nd of October, 2019. Uh, we finished our big water run. We're back here at Beachside with the restaurant right now. Um, 150 baht for a breakfast. I'll show you the menu real quick. So we've selected the American option right there. Take a screenshot of that. Uh, and I'll give you a little bit of a tour. I didn't do it yesterday, but I'll show you. This is the restaurant area here. And uh, it's just us at the moment. And this is at Hivetel Beachside. Straight through that glass is the swim up bar just there. They're waving away. Very friendly staff, as you can see. That's the bar, that's the swim up bar actually. You'll notice the water kind of around there. And um, there's a cocktail menu obviously, but then you can also order protein shakes there as well. Pretty, pretty rad. And then over here we have the coffee and tea station. Uh, this is probably my favorite, the coffee machine, and uh, makes a really amazing coffee. And uh, that's it. A little bit of the station, we've got the fruits on the other side here, just like this. Uh, so pineapple and butter and bread, so you can make toast, jam. They got like cornflakes and that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's the breakfast. This is the breakfast area here at Hypesol. G'day guys, 22nd of October 2019. About to do a private Muay Thai class here at Tiger Muay Thai Beachside. And uh, Robin's gonna be filming this class. I'll link her up. She's an online Pilates instructor, check her out. But in this video, I'm gonna give you the highlights of my private session here. Um, I'm training with uh, Cruz Sawat and 800 baht for the one hour private session. And uh, we're staying at Beachside for a week and we've got the all-inclusive fitness package. So trying to give you guys a bit of an idea of what it's like here, what the training is like and the environment. So Robin's gonna run around with the camera and just show you what the environment's like. So you're gonna see uh, what it's like to train um, with Kurosawa, he's from Taika Muay Thai. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun little class. Have hurt my calf last week. So I'm just gonna take it easy. But hopefully you guys get some value out of this and um, if you decide to come to the beach side, this is it. So enjoy. So if you want to book these sessions, here at Tiger Muay Thai Beachside, you literally just go over to the front desk over there and you just say, look, I want to train with XYZ instructor, 800 bars, you can pay credit card, cash. And uh, we literally booked this like three hours ago. Yeah. That's you guys the end of the one hour private session here at Tiger Muay Thai Beachside. 800 baht. I feel really phenomenal guys, like this is really great but it's really really hot. As I said before, it's hotter than usual. So hydration, 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 all of that. But um, Cruz Sawat from Tiger Muay Thai main campus. I think he's come out here to do the privates. Next session, Rob's has a private session, so I'll be filming her and you can see her session. So if you have any questions, let me know. This is Beachside. This is the main area. Take a look. This is the only area they do Muay Thai here. Three rings, bags surrounding the whole area. The accommodation is just there. So if you stay at Beachside, you literally will stay over there in one of those two beehives, right? They call them like, uh, they call the hive tell. You have an ice bath. Actually, there's a cut in the tree just for this camera. So straight through there is the ice bath. And uh, a few times a week, they fill that with ice water. They put ice blocks in there. And uh, 
as part of the, the all-inclusive package, you get to get the use the ice bath as well, which I haven't used yet, but it's meant to be amazing. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next video with Robs. She's going to be getting her pink gloves on. Hey, Robs. Hey guys, where's the day? The 22nd today. Yeah. October. Um, so I'm here at Tiger Muay Thai beachside, and it's the first little private that I'm having. And it's flipping hot today. It is so hot. We've already done a run this morning up to the Big Buddha. Um, not enough stretching today. I can feel it in my lower back. Um, I'm going to try, but I know that I'm probably going to pass out halfway through. <laughs> so get ready for that. <laughs> She's done so well, first round. How do you feel? Yeah, I always learn something new. It's hey? so cool. There's always something to learn, isn't yeah. there? There really is. Yeah. The privates, I think, are so good. They're so worth it. Yeah. Because otherwise, how else are you supposed to know, really? A lot of the time, you kind of in group classes paired up, but this, this sort of individual teaching really because they look at you and yeah your form and everything like they, i didn't know i needed with a kick my body needs to be upright yeah i didn't know that yeah he i didn't know either he corrected my kick too hmm. i was leaning back too much and my guard wasn't right yeah. and i was like i thought i had this sorted I like out that before yeah so now i'm gonna try that see what happens good yes. ah, good Oh, that was close. No, no, not no. the banana. It is uh, four o'clock in the afternoon here. We're just back in our room at the Hive Tell Tiger Muay Thai beach side. This is our accommodation and uh, we just come from swimming downstairs in the pool after doing our private Muay Thai sessions. <coughs> Sore throat. Um, and uh, it was just really nice to reset the, the body switch, you know, jump in the pool, in the sun, just relax a little bit, so I feel quite relaxed now. But uh, from our balcony now, uh, these are the views, right? And they've got a training session at the moment. They're doing a training class there at the moment and down over there in that shed is the afternoon Muay Thai class which you won't see very well from that perspective but that's where it is so literally our balcony view is this like we can see people training over here and we can see people doing Muay Thai over there as well so at Tiger Muay Thai beachside there are literally only eight people staying in the first uh, building and there's five people staying in the second building which makes it very very exclusive so for me it actually feels like a bit of a private resort and at the moment like they only, they only opened up in I think February uh, this year uh, but there's not many people staying there and I really like it because it's really really like peaceful and quiet it's really really cool uh, but I've got a feeling it's not going to always be that way. Uh, just riding past uh, Phuket top team right there. Give you a nice external shot. I'm going to do some videos there. Good man, how are you? Alright, so just dropped into a Chinese restaurant here on Fitness Street, Soi Taid. Um, this place is one of our favourite places to come and eat because the food is fresh, it's super cheap, and they serve coconuts just like that. That's just arrived right there. I think you pay like one or two Australian dollars for that. I mean, you just can't get much better than that. And literally where we're sitting now, um, we're on Fitness Street. I'll throw the map up, a full little location on it. Make sure you come here. This is the menu. It's super basic. Have a look. However, this place has been here for so long, uh, the food is really authentic and uh, they serve really, really good food here. I'll actually spin you around. You actually go and pay over there. He's a really cool dude. He's been there forever. 
Um, yeah, it's really, really cool. Just quickly to pan you around, you have one more look at what this place looks like. But uh, yeah, it's just like a little canteen. I'll quickly show you the menu and then you can pause the video and then look at the prices and then convert it in your own currency. That's probably the easiest way of doing it. But I'll show you one of my favorite, personal favorite things that I like to order when I'm here. Is this one here, the steamed chicken, large, 120 baht. Uh, vegetables of brown rice. Like, make sure you have that when you come here. All right, my friends, good afternoon, quarter past five. We're on Fitness Street still. We've just left Tony's restaurant. I uh, hope you guys, when you come here, definitely check it out. Um, yeah, I know I rave on about it probably way too much, but not sponsored. <laughs> now we're just picking up some laundry. Robin's there picking up some laundry that we dropped off yesterday. And as I mentioned in yesterday's daily video, it's uh, 50, it's 50 baht per, 40, 50 baht per kilo. Uh, it's all done on weight here, unless you go to a fancy place and it's all done on um, number of garments. So pick up the laundry, then we have to book some private lessons, Muay Thai lessons for tomorrow. At a couple of gyms around here, but we're not sure which ones, but we'll figure it out and we'll let you know. We're gonna shoot some videos for you and yeah, bring you along. So what do you guys think of my bike? basket on the front so a little bit weird but oh, don't judge me How are you, guys? you like my bike wow. yeah, you like my bike we're back all right my friends yeah just booked a couple of private Muay Thai sessions here uh, at Evolve uh, for tomorrow afternoon uh, two to three uh, will be mine with Fulham and then three to four will be Robin's uh, with the Iranian Ninja so yeah, stick around tomorrow. I'm gonna to make some separate videos for those private sessions so you get to see uh, what it's like to train at Evolve here with these trainers. Um, yeah, just private Muay Thai sessions, you know, from the guy's perspective and then my girlfriend, girl's perspective. So, but anyway, if you haven't already caught the last couple of videos, that's Top Team just there with the blue roof. We're gonna go in there and do some sessions as well. So stick around, there's gonna be uh, some fun videos coming out of there, but I really can't wait to um, get in there and check that place out and uh, bring you guys along with me. And they've got accommodation just there. See that building? That's all part of Top Team. That's the accommodation there. And uh, I wanna bring you in and show you what the accommodation looks like. Because back in 2017, I didn't, feel, I didn't shoot any videos in there. Just in my head. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go. They're doing a they're doing a session now. I think they're doing private sessions here at Evolve. Bit of Muay Thai. Really, really nice gym. Enough of me talking. We're gonna head back to our room back at uh, Tiger Muay Thai Beachside, and then I think it's gonna be the end of the vlog. So yeah, I'll sign out later on. Thanks for following along, guys. If you have any questions about anything, just send me a message or send Robin a message, and we'll do our best to help you out. You know, I'm not a professional, but like. I've been around here quite a few times and you know I might be able to help you out so anyway see you soon <laughs>